Alicia Cross with Alicia Cross Training. A lot of us have forward slumped shoulders and a lot of roundness to the upper back. It comes from sitting at a desk um, or hunching forward over steering wheel, over computer, smartphones, kids, dogs. So today I'm going to show you four exercises you can do to help combat forward slumped shoulders. We're going to work on some external rotation, opening up the chest, some thoracic extension, opening up the front of the body, all while keeping the rest of the body in an alignment. Um, we're going to need just a wall and some really light therabands. We're going to start by finding our alignment. We'll come back against the wall so that our feet are hip distance, second toes pointed straight ahead. Nice soft knees, letting the knees spin apart from each other, all while we keep pressing our big toe ball mounts down into the floor. We're going to balance our pelvis parallel to the ground. Our lumbar curve is away from the wall, but our ribs are flush against the wall. We're knitting our front ribs in. Our neck also curves away from the wall, but we'll keep our head on straight, parallel to the floor, back of the head pressing into the wall behind us. Starting with horizontal external rotation, we'll bring those arms up parallel to the floor like they're sitting on a table. Always making sure the elbows are slightly lower than the shoulders. As we spin back, we're going to work towards pressing the back of our hand firmly into the wall behind us without compromising our posture. So instead of flaring the ribs off to touch the wall or bending the wrist to touch the wall. Just go back as far as you can without any compensation. Keep feeling the alignment in the knees and the feet and keep breathing. So we'll finish about 10 to 12 of these before moving on to the second exercise. And this one starts in that ending position, goal post arms. If your hands don't touch the wall, for this one you can bend your wrist to get your middle fingers in contact with the wall. Keep that alignment throughout the entire body as we slide the arms up the wall, stacking wrists, elbows, and shoulders, and coming back down to our starting position, goal post arms. So our goal is to stay flush against the wall with the arms without the ribs coming off the wall. And even if those elbows do come off, as soon as we can, we'll get them back against the wall, all without compromising our posture. So we'll finish about 10 to 12 of these before moving on to the third exercise. Starting again in goal post arms, we're going to squeeze our elbows together behind the back, puffing the ribs off the wall, but keeping our pelvis parallel to the floor. Return to starting position, goal post arms, back ribs flush against the wall. Elbows squeeze behind the back, all without changing the alignment from our feet all the way up through our pelvis, and then returning to neutral, ribs flush against the wall. So we'll finish about 10 to 12 elbow squeezes behind the back before moving on to the last exercise. So we'll need our light therabands. We'll step on them, finding that same alignment against the wall. Gathering up the ends in the hands, so we have just some light resistance. Make sure the resistance is the same in both hands. And we'll start with those arms out in front of the shoulders. And for the Y fly, we're going to bring those arms back into a nice wide Y shape, again, without compromising our posture. So we're keeping our knees soft, our pelvis balanced, our front ribs knitted in, and our shoulders away from our ears. It's better to keep the alignment than to touch the wall. So go back just as far as you can without losing that neutral posture throughout the body. And we'll finish about 10 to 12 Y flies, taking a rest and then cycling through the four exercises again, 10 to 12 reps, two more times. So this can be the the workout for your shoulder for the day, or this can be part of your warm up, your dynamic stretches, your corrective exercises. So finish 10 to 12 reps three times through. Take care of those shoulders, get them into alignment so you're safe throughout your workout, through all the activities you do outside the gym, and all the movements we make all day long. Alicia Cross with Alicia Cross Training. Thanks.